This is called The Mechanism of Life, and it's titled after a scientist named Stéphane Leduc, who was working in the early 1900s. Um, and his work dealt very much with um, this idea that life can be reduced to chemical processes and to mechanisms and simple interactions between things that are basically inanimate, don't have any real kind of uh, magic stuff that makes them alive. It's made with uh, all these parts of a rapid prototyping machine or 3D printers. The way that a rapid prototype machine works is based on a program. It's based on information. So that's saying that the creation of anything can be reduced to code. It can be reduced to information. This is a machine that's printing with salt solutions and what it prints are, are called protocells. So these are things that look like um, natural cells in that they have a nucleus in the cell wall, but they're not actually made of any kind of biological material per se. The patterns are created just by the difference between the two liquids that are in the machine. To see a blog about synthetic biology or things going on in laboratories today, it's usually scientists create world's first blank. It's really caught sort of the public imaginary that you could build organs and kind of you could build anything with a 3D printer, which is a similar concept that synthetic biology sort of brings to the fore, that you could build anything at all with as long as you have the tools and understand the mechanisms for doing it. The piece is dealing with trying to show that these are not exactly brand new ideas. Life can be reduced to something very mechanical versus life as some kind of magic stuff. Um, these are kind of concepts that we go through throughout history.